Yo, what is up guys? It is Gong Master here. How's it been doing? Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. So real quickly, before we get on with this video, I do want to say a quick thank you to everyone who came out to my most recent 24-hour stream. This was by far one of the best ones that I've ever done. <laughs> and seeing y'all there supporting and having a good time with me, it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. And for those of y'all that don't know or are new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching, I recently did my 12th 24-hour stream. Still can't believe I've done 12 of these. Oh my god. And this video is basically just a how-to video. <laughs> you know, how to do a 24-hour stream, what to expect, how to prepare for it, and just really the do's and don'ts of doing a 24-hour stream. Maybe you're about to do one, maybe this is your first one, or maybe you're just curious as to, you know, how to prepare for it and what I do to, you know, how I prepare my 24-hour streams, how I execute mine. So as far as preparing a 24-hour stream or preparing for a 24-hour stream, you definitely want to look at your schedule for the next few days and make sure, and like especially the day after your 24-hour stream, you want to make sure that you don't have anything going on or if anything you want to make sure you have very little going on because I guarantee you, you're going to be exhausted because you would have been up for 24 hours. <laughs> Or in my case, I was up for 38 hours because I tried to get some sleep before the 24-hour stream. I just couldn't sleep. So by the end of the 24-hour stream, I was awake for 38 hours. <laughs> and needless to say, I'm recording this video the day after and I am still exhausted from it. So you want to make sure that you don't have a whole lot going on. You want to make sure that you can tack on a few extra hours of your sleeping schedule you know, for the day after to kind of give you those extra hours of sleep. And like if you work five days a week or maybe, God forbid, you work six or seven days a week, like in my case, make sure that you have a day off so that you can take a day to just rest, you know, regain all that energy, you know, get back on your sleeping schedule and stuff like that. And recovering from a 24-hour stream, it's not going to be just, oh, one night sleep and you're good to go. Like, that, you got to be prepared to be tired for the next few days. Before you do your 24-hour stream, you want to make sure that you get a pretty decent amount of sleep. Like I said, I've done 12 of these. And for my last few 24-hour streams, or really all of them, what I've done is I start my 24-hour stream at 7 a.m. Usually, whenever I'm not doing a 24-hour stream, I go to bed at around like midnight, 1, 1.30ish, somewhere in that time frame. But if I were to start my 24-hour stream at 7 in the morning, I would go to bed at like, at the very earliest, I would be tucked into bed trying to sleep at 9. And it would work, and I would get a solid 10 hours of sleep, and it felt amazing. And just try to get as much sleep as you can beforehand. What a lot of people do with their 24-hour streams is they start it at midnight. And if you were to start it at midnight, and I've, I've also done that before, what you want to do is the night before the 24-hour stream, stay up all night. That's usually what I would do. I would stay up all night working on my overlays and stuff like that to get ready for it. Then I would sleep the whole entire day. Then wake up at 11, 11.30ish. Then we get the show on the road. You don't want to be up for too long before you have to do your 24-hour stream. Like I said, in my case with my most recent one, I was up hours well before the stream started. I woke up at 9 in the morning because I unfortunately had to go to work. I left work at around 3.45ish, 4 o'clock, came home, tried to sleep, couldn't sleep, and I stayed up all the way up until midnight when my stream started. Make sure you get a solid 8 hours at least of sleep before your 12 hour stream. Or 12, what? before your 24 hour stream. The best thing to do to kind of get you more in the mood to do 24 hour streams like 
in the days leading up and even right as you start your 24 hour stream, make sure you go into the stream hyped, you're excited, you have to be in that mindset of this is going to be a blast, we're going to have fun, everything like that. You do not want to go into a 24 hour stream thinking, oh my god, 24 hours, I'm going to be so tired, it's going to be so painful, don't do that. Or you will alone, or you will lose motivation, and you'll just you'll crash, and it will be game over. During the stream, don't look at the clock. The clock is not important. The more you look at the clock, the slower the time will seem to go. Obviously, yeah. Every once in a while, you know, glance over at your PC clock and you're like, oh, okay, I've been live for this long. We have this long remaining. Or maybe in like in my case, in my 24-hour streams. Over here, I have a timer that counts down how much time we have left. And during the 24-hour stream, I never really looked over at it that much. Make sure that you're playing games that you really do enjoy playing. There's no sense in doing a 24-hour stream of games that you don't like because it's just going to ruin the whole thing. Like with me, I like Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty. During my 24-hour stream, uh, we did a lot of Modern Warfare, we did a lot of World War II, Black Ops 4, MW3, Ghost, you know, stuff like that. Games that I enjoy, games that I know I'm never gonna be like, oh my god, this game sucks, I don't like this game, why am I playing this? You also want to make sure that you're playing games that keeps your brain active. You know, there's no sense in playing a game that's just straightforward because you're gonna get bored of it it's gonna happen that's why i play multiple games on my 24 hour stream like i said and if you don't know this about me now you know my all-time favorite game is call of duty modern warfare 3 but at the same time i can't play 24 hours i i can't play mw3 24 hours straight that's not happening because I'm going to be bored. I'm going to be like, oh, I've been doing this for so long, I want to switch it up a bit. Maybe some of your buddies play the same game as you. Ask them to hop on and join you. If you're a pretty small streamer like I am, then it's going to be hard for you to, you know, keep viewers in your chat. But try to have viewers in your chat, you know, keeping you active, keeping you talking. Because one thing I noticed in my 24-hour streams... Whenever I'm talking to chat, whenever, you know, I have chat talking to me and everything like that, my brain stays active, I keep talking, it keeps me going, it keeps me energized. Whereas when I go hours and hours without anyone in my chat, without talking to anyone, I start to kind of, you know, slouch back. And unfortunately, I start to crash, I, I start to crash quite a bit. And like I said, if you're a small streamer like I am, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Hell, back when I did my first few 24-hour streams on Twitch, I didn't even have 50 followers yet. So what I did is I asked my friends, Hey, I'm doing a 24-hour stream. Could y'all maybe be there and, you know, keep me talking, you know, keep my brain moving, stuff like that. And yeah. Hell, if you're watching this video because you're about to do a 24-hour stream and you're a small streamer, let me know. Let me know you're doing a 24-hour stream. I'll come by. I'll say, hey, I'll do it. I have no issues with it. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you're about to do a 24-hour stream. I will be there. I'll drop by. I'll say, hey, I'll check in on you and stuff like that. During your 24-hour stream, you need to stay hydrated. And even days before you do 24-hour stream, you want to keep hydrating because if you start getting dehydrated during 24-hour streams, you're going to start feeling sick and it's not going to be enjoyable. You definitely want to stay hydrated. It is very important that you keep eating as well. Now then, do not eat big meals. Every streamer will tell you this. During your 24-hour stream, do not eat big meals. Think of it this way. Maybe your mom and dad made you your favorite meal for dinner. Maybe you went out to your favorite restaurant and, oh, you're just eating everything. You're pigging out. Oh, it tastes so good. You eat a big meal. What happens? You get tired. You're going to crash. So what I did on my 24-hour stream is this. For breakfast, I had a bowl of soup. And that held me over quite well. For lunch, I ordered McDonald's. A hamburger, 
fries and a drink held me over. Not, I wasn't tired, nothing. For dinner, uh, my girlfriend and I, we ordered more food. Once again, hamburger, fries, drinks, boom, we're good. Usually, um, in my past 24 hour streams, I've done this. For breakfast, I'll have a little thing of eggs and some bacon. Good, there, no issue. For lunch, I'd make myself a sandwich. Nothing bad about that. It's healthy. And it fills you up without the trash. For dinner, I'd make myself a quesadilla. A quesadilla? Why would you make a quesadilla? Think about it. Quesadillas, they're a pretty good size, right? They're big. You can put like chicken, cheese, all this stuff in quesadillas. You can eat a whole quesadilla and it, number one, it fills you up. Number two, it, it doesn't make you crash. And I would just do that during my 24 hour streams. Good old bacon and eggs for breakfast, a sandwich for lunch and dinner, I'd make a quesadilla. And the whole time I would be drinking water and yeah. You also wanna be sure that whenever you're hungry, eat. Because once again, if you don't eat, you're gonna feel sick, it's not gonna be fun. So what I would do, or what I did, is like for lunch, I ordered McDonald's and got fries. Up until dinner, I was just snacking on the fries whenever I felt hungry. I'd take a few fries and be able to hold me over. Other good snacks include peanuts, sunflower seeds, cashews, something really small and light because once again, you don't want to eat too much and unfortunately crash. Now then, I don't think I have to say this one, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Do not drink caffeine. Once again, every streamer that's done a 24 hour stream will tell you, do not drink caffeine. If you're tired and you drink, let's say an energy drink or a cup of coffee or something with a lot of caffeine in it, yeah, it's gonna give you energy for a little while, but then, you're gonna crash. If you are in desperate need of caffeine, like maybe you're only like six or seven hours away from finishing the stream, you're just absolutely dead, you need a quick waker upper. This is gonna sound weird. Drink apple juice. I don't know the exact science behind it, but it has something to do with the apples in it. Like when you drink it, it like, it, I forgot what it does, but just, Trust me, drink apple juice. If you need a pick-me-up, if you need something really bad, try apple juice. Apple, The smell of apples revitalizes the mind, the body. It does some weird chemical thing, and when you can smell apples, even light an apple candle if you have to, something. It'll wake you up, trust me. You can also have a soda or two. That's what I did on my 24-hour stream. I had a can of Dr. Pepper. I do not recommend drinking any type of energy drinks, uh, coffee, anything that has a lot of caffeine in it. Make sure you take breaks. Once again, uh, in my 24 hour streams, what I do is I play games for four hours. Then I take about a good 10 to 15, you know, like five, 10, uh, later on in the stream as I get more tired 15 minute breaks during those breaks I stand up stretch I actually go I actually went up against this wall and started doing some wall push-ups I did some sit-ups I walked around the apartment hell I even walked outside at like 4 in the morning and just you know walked a few laps around the parking lot you know once again it's pretty unhealthy to just be sitting here staring at a computer screen or a monitor it's pretty unhealthy to just be staring at this for 24 hours. Also, not to mention, it does feel good to, you know, move the bones around and everything like that. And with me, four hour intervals are perfect. Stand up, stretch, you know, maybe do some at home exercises, jumping jacks. Hi, Zoe. Hi. It's my girlfriend. Ah. Hey. Just remember, it's important to, you know, keep stretching, you know, just move around, you know. And along with taking breaks, and I, I actually ended up doing this quite a bit during my 24-hour stream, especially in the later hours. My eyes are sensitive, hence why I wear these things. Also because my vision sucks. What I would do is between every game, I would just 
look around the room, you know, let my eyes kind of wander. You know, I'd look at the different posters I have. You know, I'd look at the ground, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, just look around. Because remember, it's unhealthy for your eyes to just be staring at a monitor or, you know, TV screen, anything like that. It's unhealthy for you to just be staring at it for long periods of time. So yeah, like I just lean back and I'd look at the wall, ceiling, look around. Keep your eyes moving. Because also, once again, you know, you'll just get tired that much quicker. If you just keep looking at the same thing, it's going to get tiring. So keep your eyes moving. The last thing I can really think of is this. Do not feel like you have to do 24 hours. Do not feel like someone's pointing a gun to your head saying, Hey, you have to do these 24 hours. You have to do it. You cannot stop for any reason whatsoever. I've done 12 24 hour streams. And out of the 12 that I've done, I haven't been able to complete three of them. One of them being because the internet went out. The second one being because the power went out. And the third one was just because I just, I started feeling really sick. It sucks because I was more than halfway in. I believe I only had like five or six more hours to go. And man, I just, I was just feeling so shitty. I had this massive migraine. I, I just, I felt like shit. So unfortunately, I had to make the call. Hey guys, I have to call it off. I'm going to end it here. I don't feel good. There is no shame in ending a 24 hour stream. There's no shame whatsoever. The fact that you made an attempt to do 24 hours, that speaks for itself. There's no, there's no shame in saying, hey guys, I feel sick. I'm calling it off. Hell, even if you get too tired that you know, like, yeah, I'm about to pass out. You know, I can't do this. There's no shame. There's no shame whatsoever. If you would feel like you just can't continue it, no matter how long you've been streaming, no matter how much time you have left, if you genuinely feel like, yeah, I can't do this anymore, your health always comes first. End the 24 hour stream, get some rest, you know, do whatever you need to do. Like I said, it sucks because I've had to do that and in the moment it feels shitty. But then you have, then you start thinking like, what if something did go wrong? What if I like did pass out? You know, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? So once again, I know I said it a billion times. I'll say it again. There's no shame in ending early. No shame whatsoever. So once again, to kind of review everything, be sure to get plenty of sleep before your stream. Make sure you have someone there to, you know, keep you active, keep you talking, stuff like that. Once again, if you're about to do a 24-hour stream, let me know. I'll be there. I'll hang out. I'll say, hey, I'll, you know, I'll, yeah. Play games that you know you're going to enjoy. Be sure that the whole time you're in the mindset of, hey, this is fun. We're having fun. Stay hydrated. Start hydrating way before the 24-hour stream. Be sure to eat. Just don't eat too much. Be sure to have a few snacks in between. Stay away from caffeine. And there's no shame in ending early. Once again, I will repeat myself a billion times. There's no shame in calling it early. The fact that you made an effort to go 24 hours, once again, that says a lot. And yeah, uh, whenever I do 24 hours, uh, that's always what I'm thinking this whole time. And yeah, guys, that's really about it. I don't know when this video is going up right now. It's currently the 23rd. I'm going to try to have this up by the 24th. We'll see what happens. But here in the next few days, be expecting a 24-hour stream highlights video to come out. You know, there, there were a lot of funny moments, a lot of good stuff that happened. So definitely be sure to stick around for that. And with all that being said, guys, uh, if there's anything else that I missed that I can think of, I will put it right over here. So with all that being said, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Gong Master, and I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy, y'all.